because reporting the news isn't about us. It's about you. News Nation. News for all America. The new $1.29 chicken cheddar rollers with freshly grilled chicken, freshly grated cheddar cheese, and your choice of salsa verde, ranch, or chipotle sauce. 20 under 2. It's the right menu at the right time. Only at Del Taco. Hell yeah. I had a job as an elf. How tall are you? Uh, currently six foot. Would I lie to you? Tonight at 8.30 on KTLA 5. Illusion. You can't trust your own eyes. Meet. It's magic in the air. Join us as we celebrate remarkable women. Tomorrow at 2 on KTLA 5. Sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Good morning, everyone. I'm Christina Pascucci coming to you live from Pasadena. We continue to follow the fallout after that leaked draft opinion surrounding Roe v. Wade. Coming up, how many women Planned Parenthood anticipates will come from out of state to get an abortion and some action planned in response coming up this week? That's all coming up in minutes. Also, we have news overnight, a crash involving a BMW that was wedged underneath a semi-truck. What we know about the devastating scene coming up. And the push to install a Dodgers gondola taking fans to the game takes another step. We weigh some of the pros and cons. Good Saturday morning. We will wake up to morning clouds and fog, but mostly sunny by this afternoon and cooler temperatures for the next several days. We'll talk about your Mother's Day forecast straight ahead. Good morning to you. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News. It is 6 a.m. I'm Lynette Romero. And I'm Mark Mester. We start this morning with breaking news out of the city of Carson, where a two-car crash ended with a BMW right there trapped underneath the trailer of a semi-truck. This happened just before 11 o'clock last night at the 19,000 block of South Alameda Street. The BMW's driver had to be extricated, was hospitalized. The condition is unknown at this hour. The truck driver was not hurt. We have no word this morning on what led to that crash. In other news at this hour, the possibility that Roe v. Wade could be struck down next month has California's leaders committing to making sure that the state, a sanctuary state for women who want an abortion. Christina Pascucci spoke to a local plan, Planned Parenthood, and she joins us live now from Pasadena with more on this. Christina. Hi, Mark and Lynette. Yeah, we spoke to Planned Parenthood. It represents Orange and San Bernardino counties. Uh, we're also going to speak to them here in Pasadena potentially later this morning. And what they're telling us is that before, compared to what they saw before, they're already seeing a lot of women come from out of state after that more restrictive uh, Texas abortion law was passed. So they said, just imagine the repercussions if dozens more states are impacted, if in fact Roe v. Wade is overturned. Listen to what she told me in terms of that and also some action that is planned in the next week. Prior to the, the terrible Texas law that went into effect in September 21, on average, we saw about four out of state patients. Since that Texas law, we're now seeing 18 out-of-state patients a month. Keep in mind that we're one of seven affiliates across the state. So you can imagine the huge impact that this is going to have. And again, that's just coming from one state. On May 14th, here in Orange County, actually at Santa Ana, we're going to be having a bans off abortion rally. And this is to demonstrate that the power to make our own dis personal medical decisions is a fundamental right and that access to safe legal abortion is worth fighting for. Nicole estimates the clinics in her area in Orange and San Bernardino counties would see 120 women every month. She says 26 states and 36 million women could be impacted once this draft opinion becomes final, should that be the case. She also says that they'll try to provide aid to cover travel for women who come to get abortions from out of state. For more on that rally that I mentioned, you can go to bandsoffabortion.org. Meanwhile, California Attorney General Rob Bonta reaffirming Governor Gavin Newsom's pledge to make the state a sanctuary for millions of women, women who may need uh, access to reproductive care and if federal protections are rescinded and other states make the practice illegal. It's insane to take away somebody's bodily autonomy. Most Americans, about 70% in red states and blue states and all sorts of households, agree that there should be some access to abortion. I'm proud to defend the right to life, and I know my colleagues are as well. Persons are deemed unworthy of legal protection for no other reason.